Hello and welcome to my afternoon tea week video series. Today I'm in Cutter and Squidge and I'm with Annabelle who is the co-founder and also the creator of the Potion Room. Today we're going to be talking about themed afternoon tea. Um, so if you follow my page you'll know that I have um, talked a lot about themed afternoon teas and I think that because there's so many popping up it's really important to know that you're doing it right. So Annabelle's background is in baking and I'm going to just ask her how she creates a perfect themed afternoon tea because her afternoon tea here at Cutter and Squidge is excellent and each theme is really thought about carefully and I just want to talk to her find out more about the inspiration. So Annabelle, do you want to just tell me how you put together a um, themed afternoon tea and give some examples of what you've done in the past? Sure. Um, so with uh, a themed up in tea, you've really got to think about the essence of what you want to portray. Um, so with Hello Kitty afternoon tea, we went and delved into her favourite uh, foods, yeah. things like apple pie or strawberry milkshake, and started to theme the food around that. Um, and then after that, we started looking about the, the aesthetics of, of what the afternoon tea looks like. Um, so you want it to be tasty, you also want to tie all of the food in with the environment, in with how it looks as well. The same thing with um, our Genie's afternoon tea that we did. Um, whilst the, the theme was Genie's cave, so it looked like a cave, the food was thought about in a kind of more Arabic feel to it, so the teapots were in that theme. The tea that we chose was passion fruit, we had exotic flavours in there. That's right, there were yeah. And then we had a rose and pistachio cake, um, so it was uh, with orange blossoms, so that was all tying it in together. And then the last one, um, and probably our most popular thing that we've, we've done is the potion room. Okay. Um, and we really wanted to go that much extra um, in immersing people into that theme. That's a good point because not everywhere immerses you in the theme. So you might go for a themed afternoon tea and not just theme the pastries and call it a themed afternoon tea. Whereas I think the whole experience is really important. Exactly. So it's uh, with, with the potion room, we wanted it to be um, from uh, the food to have it be magical um, and have a, a fantasy feel to it so all the ingredients that we named um, uh, teas and stuff so it's like unicorn tears or dragon's blood or fillet of fenny snake. So we just go that extra mile in exactly. terms of thinking about the wrong experience. And then with the actual food it was crackling, it's bubbling, um, it, it has different colours, it's floating, all of those different senses, as well as it being led by a potion master. So it, we really want to immerse that, that classroom feel. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's really important that I'm outside that the food was the first element to think about because it's all, it'd be great to come here and it looks so wonderful, but if the food doesn't taste nice, it sort of ruins the whole experience. So thank you so much, Annabelle, thank for you. explaining um, all about themed afternoon tea today.